digital anchor Rachel Ramsey joining us now from the NBC 4i Digital Center with a look at the stories that are making headlines online this afternoon. Good afternoon, Rachel. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Top trending online, Ohio State assessments may have slightly lower stakes for thousands of third graders struggling to read. With the passage of the state's two-year budget came changes to Ohio's third grade reading guarantee. House Bill 117, which is folded in the budget, would eliminate the mandatory grade retention altogether. While that bill remains pending, elementary students will move forward with a different program. Parents or guardians can request to exempt their child from their reading score requirement to move to fourth grade. The budget also requires every student who would be held back from fourth grade to be promoted unless parents request otherwise. Columbus and Franklin County Metro Parks have brought a renovated fire tower to the Scioto Grove Metro Park to give visitors a new view of the area. The tower officially opened today, inviting the public to climb up with park officials to view the city and parkland. Now, prior to moving to the park, the fire tower was known as the Keystone Fire Lookout in Jackson. During the renovation process, staff added a new stair tread and windows. They also rebuilt the top of the structure to allow visitors to climb nearly 100 feet and view Grove City and downtown Columbus. A Columbus bakery known for its over-the-top cakes and desserts is moving. Sugar Rush is opening a storefront in Reynoldsburg on Broad Street over Labor Day weekend. Sugar Rush's new storefront will feature additional seating, a milkshake bar, and five dessert display cases. Now, beyond unique cakes, Sugar Rush is known for its mashup cookies and dozens of treats. For more on the opening, you can just go to our website. And a fast food chain with Columbus roots might be launching new pumpkin spice flavored items this fall. Wendy's is rumored to be releasing a limited time only pumpkin spice frosty and cold brew beginning next month with reports teasing an official launch date of September 12th. Now, while the chain did not disclose to NBC4 if it is developing new menu items, Wendy says it is, quote, always looking to spice things up on the frosty front. Now, if true, Wendy's will be joining chains like Starbucks and Dunkin' by offering pumpkin spice flavored items for the fall and I'm for that a pumpkin spice frosty that'd be good yeah right. I'm a I'm a fan of a frosty You're a PSL girly yeah yeah well, you know it depends mm -hmm. depends but I'd go for a frosty for sure definitely I might try it but no need to mess with perfection yeah I love the chocolate yeah good as is all right Rachel thank you for the latest news weather and sports 24 7 make sure you visit NBC4i.com you can also stay connected on the go with our free NBC4 news app downloaded from the Apple or Google Play stores